Here's how you save textures from your second life inventory to your first life's hard drive for image editing or backup or another purpose. First of all, go to your inventory folder, click that to open it up, and you're probably going to want to look in the textures folder here or where else the texture that you want to save is stored. Before we go on, let me briefly explain, you may wonder why these have different icons. Even though they're the same sort of thing, they're both textures. They just indicate that this is a snapshot that you saved. Like when you go to snapshot here and then you upload a snapshot versus a texture which you uploaded from a file or upload image or someone else uploaded for that matter. It just indicates where it came from. But as you can see, when you open them up, they function as the same sort of thing. I know they're different textures. You also want to make sure that it is full permissions, like right here, I have this cool texture from Summer Seal, but it's no modify. It doesn't have full permissions, so when I go to File Menu and Save Texture As, it's grayed out. And yes, yes, I know there's print screen and other ways around this, but I'm not here to condone that. So let's move on. Now, I'm going to open this fully permissive texture by Colton Linden, because that's pretty cool. And we can go now to File Menu and Save Texture As. It will pop up a standard dialog box asking me to name it as a standard TGA file, which you, you can open in most image editors like Photoshop, uh, GIMP, a lot of free image viewers will also work and give it a name. It doesn't automatically take on the name, unfortunately, so I can name it Colton. And then I can save it. And it'll tell me it's saved. And there you go. Then you can go ahead and open it in Windows or Mac or Linux or another operating system. It's basically the same thing, even though my system is a Windows one. Enjoy that and delight yourself with textures.